Hi, Hiram here. I had a request from old Pete and several others to redo that last uh, boil test that I did with this simple carbon felt burner where I measure how much alcohol is actually being used during the test. I, the only way I can figure to do it is uh, do it while it's burning. Let me just start this. I got to get a weight. Put that on there like that. Weight is 267.9, 267.9 grams. I have two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. Okay. Now that I got that going, now I can talk a little bit. Uh, old Pete and several others asked me to measure this, how much alcohol is used in this test. The only way I could think of doing it was have it already running, it burning so that the alcohol is through the tube and into the burner, and then weigh the uh, bottle as it's going. Let me move this out of the way so you can see it. So that's what I'm going to try today. Now a couple of things that I found, the room temperature right now is 43 degrees. One of the things that I found is this thing is kind of touchy when you're using this much alcohol. I guess it doesn't matter so much with these smaller bottles like this one. Uh, you know, I showed you this before. But with this, and I'm not knocking this, don't get me wrong. This is a nice little refill station. But when you get something this big, the heat from the burner can uh, expand the alcohol and then make it start coming out of the little air uh, opening here, the little chute. So you got to watch for that. Even my ham hocks here, if I was to hold this without squeezing it, but just hold it, it heats up the alcohol enough that it expands and starts trying to come out that hole. So let me let this run for a little bit, and I'll be back closer to uh, the, the temperature. Be right back. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 211, 212, and 1154. Okay, and then we look over here on the scale, 256.3, 256.3. All right, let me do some quick math here, and I'll be right back. Okay, I did some quick math there. The start weight on this was 267.9 grams, the whole thing as it sets here. At the end, it measured 256.3. So that works out to 11.6 grams of methanol was used in this test. I'm working on a figure that I got some time ago that uh, one fluid ounce of methanol or alcohol weighs 24.9 grams. So in that case, I use something like 0.46 fluid ounces of alcohol in this test less than half an ounce of alcohol. Not bad, although that's just how much was consumed in the test. You're having to fill up the burner and everything, so it would be a little bit of variety there. I mean, it would vary a little bit depending on how you measure it, but what I did was I had this started that the burner was already, you know, it was already burning and going so that there's no transfer of fluid to fill it up. Uh, <clears throat> measured it, put the pot on, and then that's how much was used. So, you know, your use could vary, but in this case, I burned about a little less than half of a fluid ounce. I'll work that out to the other sizes and put that down in the text area. But uh, less than half a fluid ounce isn't too bad to get two cups of water to a boil starting at 60 degrees. I guess the next thing I'll do is this test with 
uh, I can the same size as what's in here but without the carbon felt in it just pour a half an ounce of flu a half a fluid ounce of uh, alcohol in this and do the same test and see what kind of results I get there how much the carbon felt helps or not one of the big things off the top the carbon felt helps because if you have alcohol in here and you were to tip it over all of the alcohol wouldn't come running out but this also allows you to where am I close let me get this off the burner using the carbon felt in there also let you change how much uh, the carbon felt is exposed in this case it's just a smidgen above the edge of the can some people like to pull it out and do a mushroom shape get a much wider burn and stuff you can do all of that like I said before I wanted this for a slower burn for a baking project baking oven that I'm working on either this one or the other burner that I showed you the uh, pancake burner so I hope that answers your questions I look forward to your input I thank you for watching my videos I thank you for your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now